Brody, the Sheffield Steelers sent a message tonight, I think, didn't they? A 5 0 victory over Belfast. Yeah, yeah, it's a big win for us. It's nice to finally bring an A game out for, you know, an entire game, 60 minutes against them. I think we've had a decent games in the past, but not played exactly the way we wanted. And uh, I think if we were start and finish, it was a good effort to me. Was the big goal that Jonathan Phillips won just at the end of the first period? He, he just got us on the board after dominating for 20 minutes. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Uh, you know, we were we were playing in uh, well in our systems, and sometimes it's hard to, you know, mentally to stick with them when you don't see the rewards right away. That's but you know we've been good with that this year. We've been patient, and things have you know turned around. We got a break and. I'm glad he uh, stuffed it in there. So it's 1-0, the Belfast Giants are on the power play. We're obviously thinking defence, 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 and then you pick the puck up. And uh, what, go what goes through your mind for, for the second goal? Uh, I don't know. I just uh, I saw an opportunity. I saw that everyone was kind of in a cluster in the middle, and uh, I, I knew I could reach the puck, so I poked it, and it happened to pop out in front of me. And I don't know. It was just one of those things where I felt like I had a, a good head of steam, so I might as well try it. I knew I had my three players behind me, so and two in front, uh, their guys in front, so I wasn't going to get caught too far out of position. And I got lucky enough to get by the guy, and then it somehow squeaked in. I don't know, seven hole, I think they call it, <laughs> just under the armpit. So. And then, of course, then we saw everybody in the building got some real emotion. It, it was a huge goal, and, and you showed real emotion after that. Yeah, I was just, uh, you know, I had been playing uh, all right for, for the first period, but uh, just one of those things where, you know, everyone was playing real well, and all the guys were up and excited on the bench, so when stuff like that happens, you know, it's, it's easy to emotions to take over and you get excited. And Sheffield Steelers now are excited, the fans are excited, everybody excited. We're on, we're on a good run right now and, and, and showing that form that we, we threatened to all, all through the start of the year. Yeah, well that's the thing, I, I think they, they have a reason to be excited. You know, we're playing good hockey and we, we feel confident as a team and I mean we're getting a few bounces here and there but that happens, you know, and I, you get those from working hard and sticking to your systems. and. Hopefully it's just one of those things where we can continue to work hard and roll with it. So. Quick question on Belfast. They've lost their last three now. That's, I suppose, when you find the real character of the team now, how they respond. Yeah, that's right. I mean, they you know, it was pretty smooth sailing for them the start of the year. But, I mean, they've got a good team. And uh, they're missing two of their better offensive players tonight. It's got kind of key guys who control the play for them. So I think they'll bounce back, especially when they get those guys back in the lineup. But uh, yeah, it's it's like you say, it's a test. Every team goes through that at some point in the year, and you know it's it's how you handle the situations. It's like you say, show what kind of team you really are.